Good morning. This is Kevin Land on the Go with all you need to know and news and weather as you start your day. Investigators believe alcohol and drugs were factors in a deadly crash in Rapid City over the holiday weekend. The crash happened on East Highway 44 and Sedevy Lane, where an SUV left the road and struck a pole. One person in the vehicle died at the scene. Two others were taken to the hospital with serious injuries. The Pennington County Jail is searching for more correctional workers. While it's not always an easy job, some say it can be extremely rewarding. For two officers in the juvenile detention center, this career has made an impact on their lives. I have seen so many success stories and I have seen not so many success stories. So I look forward to the success stories that I see them maybe once and they don't come back. On Wednesday, the Pennington County Jail is inviting women who are interested in a career in corrections to stop by. Well, turning to weather now with meteorologist Scott Munt. Cold weather will be setting in before the New Year's Eve, right, Scott? Yes, we are looking at actually a cold a week ahead. Temperatures many of these days will end up being below average and overnight lows easily falling below zero. In fact, we could see teens and 20s below in parts of north central and northeastern South Dakota. Now for this morning, we do have winter weather advisories. I cover, we'll say, the northern third of Kettle Land. A lot of this due to the blowing snow that we have causing uh, covered roadways here in north central, northeastern South Dakota. Give yourself some extra time when traveling for this morning. Conditions will improve as we do go through the morning and into the afternoon. I'll have more details on the Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast coming up. All right, thank you very much, Scott. Well, Sunday's wintry weather made for some slick road conditions in Lincoln County. The Sheriff's Department there responded to this crash yesterday afternoon. It happened along Interstate 29. A pickup and trailer ended up on their roofs. Authorities say no one was inside or the vehicle was hurt. And that wasn't the only crash authorities responded to. The Sheriff's Office says multiple crashes were caused by ice covering I-29. Deputies say most hard-surfaced roads are ice-covered and slick. Authorities remind everyone to slow down, wear your seatbelt, and that gravel roads are a safer option right now. The Minnehaha County Sheriff's Office also is asking you to give yourself extra time while traveling this morning. Authorities say black ice and high winds have made road conditions worse. The Sheriff's Office also says that if you're involved in a crash, stay in your vehicle. Great Bear Ski Valley has been waiting for this colder weather so they can start the snowmaking process. Crews were set to start that process last night with a tentative hope of opening this week on Thursday. The tubing section and part of the main hill will not yet be opening, but how General Manager Dan Greider says the weather needs to hold with colder temperatures for more of it to open. You know, these cold temps are going to allow us to make snow right around the clock, which is what we've been waiting for. So the, the runs that are not open, uh, when we open for the season, we hope to get them open very quickly. And when we get additional information on opening day at Great Bear, we'll be sure to let you know. There's still time to check out the popular holiday lights display at a Sioux Falls neighborhood and help veterans during your visit. Lights on Lotta will be shining brightly each night through Sunday. Metal donation boxes are set up so people can drop in money while driving by. The donations go to Canines for Warriors and Big Paws Canine Foundation. We do it for not only the cause, but for the joy of people driving by and seeing a good lane and just people happy. So far, Lights on Lada has raised more than $12,000. Starting today, Sioux Falls Police and Sioux Falls Fire Rescue will be competing against one another in the annual Heroes Behind the Badges Blood Drive. The friendly competition runs through January 7th. You can donate blood toward either the police department or fire rescue. You can sign up to donate at either Sanford or Avera. The Blood Mobile will also host pop-up donation clinics around the city. You can check out the Community Blood Bank website to sign up. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. Scott? All right, good morning, everybody. The winds will continue to slowly decrease as we go through the morning and into the early part of the afternoon. It looks like a dry day as well. Temperatures this afternoon in the teens and 20s. We'll watch for our snow chances going through the overnight hours and into tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we may see a band of snow across western South Dakota. 
and northeastern Kettleland, where snowfall amounts may approach an inch into northeastern South Dakota. That's future cast at 3 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. And of course, it will be a cold day. Temperatures today will hit the teens and 20s this afternoon. Those winds will continue to slowly die down. Tonight will fall to the single digits on either side of zero. And then for tomorrow, cold afternoon, temperatures in the single digits, teens, and 20s with our flurries and light snow shower chances. You can always check the details of the seven day forecast while you're here online. Have a great day.